one. Okay. All right. I didn't even dust it, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the overall. There's the ends, the micro minis, the uh, DDI. Uh, this side actually looks okay. Got a little bit of grease or something there. Look around this side here, a little dusty. So I'm simply gonna set this uh, right here. Uh, we're going to um, unplug uh, the case. We have another light here that uh, we can use. Um, so the case is unplugged. We go over here, open the latch, just to bring this open. We have right now two of the very same uh, cards installed, the uh, same 557 ADI, TI Rayon uh, cards. Uh, I should have a screwdriver right here, and we're pretty comfortable in taking these sorts of uh, cards out. So we're gonna go ahead right now and take off this uh, little heat shield. Come on down there. And pull that one out. I did do. I just pulled both out. Go ahead and pull that right there. Probably a shadier, it's a darker side, but she'd still be able to see it with the wide angle. That's the shot here. Let's just set that uh, maybe right here. All right, now um, that's actually free. I think it'll actually come out. This does slide back, if I recall, um, yeah, which isn't really necessary. But let's see, there is a tab. There's a button right there. I push that little button in. Yeah, and that, that just slid back. So uh, in this particular case, either one, I could take this one. I'll just take this one here. It's probably the easiest. It's uh, the one on, uh, on top. It's still warm. I was just using the computer. And uh, just be real careful wiggling around. So have half off. Okay. Bring this. All right. Let's see, the cable's in there. I'll go take the cable off, though it should still come out. And, and it's actually easier when it's out. I'm, in fact, I'm gonna go with my original. Okay, so we're gonna go to the other side. I can actually set this light right down here. With the mirror back there, too, where you can see. We're going to, for this one here, we're gonna take off uh, this DVI uh, cable. Here's a DVI cable. Take that off. All right, take that. Through the micro mini, and these are the appropriate, uh, oh, what's it called, direct link. You can see the symbol right there. That's necessary to run three monitors. Now we have all three of those unplugged. All right. So it had some play on it, not much, not that's undone. This should, this lever should uh, be able to allow me to pass this through. It's a game of inches, folks. A game of millimeters. Pull this over here. Okay. Pull that there, pull this up here. It's completely free and that's what I like to see. And then down here, there's a little tab. This is the cable. His uh, car didn't come with the cable. I actually, this one here, it's probably less dusty than his. What we have here, it says on top, remove 616. It is 816. The date is 8716. We're gonna come in over here with the, the new one. And just looking at them side by side, it has some masking tape on that. You can just look at the uh, configuration, almost identical. Tabs look good. We look over on the other side, we look on the back. Again, this one's the one we removed. We'll set this over here. This is the one that we're installing. Uh, okay, so it was a squeeze. Let's just put that back. Let's go ahead and plug in the, uh, the uh, cable here. I almost just want to put it in first and put the cable in second, but either way, whatever you choose to do second, it's going to be a, a bugaboo. This is uh, rounded edges on the bottom. So put that through there. It goes through the loop. Rounded edges on the bottom. Come around the side here. That's yeah, tricky. Got it. It'll snap. Feels good. Uh, right here between two and between one. We're going to just sneak it by. Actually, I think they go in easier than they, they come out, in my experience. Okay, now we got that down, down to the uh, sled. That goes down right there into the sled, which is in the open position. All right, right there, just real smoothly, just barely uh, drop that in. All right, now it's actually going into, I think it's the motherboard down there. You want it to cut, get right into the, uh, the slot. So, I mean, this right here wants to go down again. This goes down. But we're looking over here, uh, around that side. We don't want to wiggle, we don't want to put too much pressure, but it should be right there, good into the slot. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead, this really isn't even a necessary step. Um, with that said, I'm going to leave this off, I just for video purposes, to keep this thing rolling. We probably can leave that light on right now. Um, all right, next up, let's go ahead and yeah, let's leave this open. We can close that. This can be closed this way. Again, it does not make any difference. We snap this. We went and closed the lock. We're going to leave this open. And uh, now in this particular case, let's go ahead and just plug in uh, one, two, three. Plug in those three. This is interesting. Let's plug in uh, these three again. All right, so here's that one. Uh, let's see here. Here's number two, which is the DVI itself. This goes in right there. I'm probably blocking a little bit. Not going to put too much pressure on it because we haven't really locked this in place just for time's sake. We want to get this rolling. And we have one more. It's a micro mini. Let's see if we can find that uh, micro mini. Where are you? Right here. Here's the micro mini. This goes in right there. Okay, we haven't, again, locked this completely in place, so maybe I'll just put one hand over here. Other hand on, of course, the micro mini. Okay, we've got that in there. Uh, for testing purposes, this is another card. This is the one that's on the bottom. We're just actually going to take that out. We want to test the three monitors. We want to see all three of them uh, working in unison. Here are the cables. This is, it says active. Uh, there's no passive. Both of them are active. Perlink. Do you know what they're called? The adapters? Anyway, so the adapters are on there as they were before. And now, we don't normally operate it sideways, but it should, uh, should be fine. Uh, let's run some power to the unit. Power to the power. Power to the power. All right. And then we're going to hit the button right there from an angle. Okay, so far so good. Uh, fans sound good. Now these actually do each have a fan uh, in them, as you can see over here on that one there. And uh, looking at a couple other units that have the 5570s coming over here, we're going to be looking at some gray monitors. Got a total of six right here. My guess is this one's not going to come on. It's just check signal cable. That was the one we unplugged. We have one right here, and we're looking for two other monitors to come up. Let's just turn this up a little bit. A little more light, though. We're just looking at monitors here. Go ahead and have a seat. Save the camera. We have the one that's a gray. Uh, we're hoping to have a gray apple in the middle of the gray screen. And two others. So you're looking at down here. These are LED indicators. They kind of uh, blink at random, indicating the power's on them. And uh, so these were the three that we're working for. Here's the gray apple, and we're seeing the progress bar. I don't think this computer takes more than, oh, 60 seconds to start up. So let's see. We're checking monitors here. There's one, two. 